go through this pretty quickly, right? So we spoke about this yesterday. We spoke about ideas of going green. We spoke about reduce, reuse, recycle. We spoke about using special light bulbs that don't use as much electricity. We spoke about turning things on and off. We spoke about electric cars to reduce fossil fuels. These are all things, right? But one of the main things we spoke about was to stop using plastics, okay? We use plastic for lots and lots and lots of things. But unfortunately, plastic is not environmentally friendly. It doesn't degrade. So what's something that we use plastics for? You can use plastic uh, for recycle to make uh, other things like uh, cotton. Okay, okay but what, what, do you, what do you use plastic? A uh, bowl. A, a ball, ball, right? Okay, right. A ball, right? Okay, cool. Minerva, what's something in your house made of plastic? A uh, watering can. Watering can, cool. And what's something else? Bottles. Bottles, right? Um, there's there's lots of things, right? There's lots of things that we use plastic for. We use plastic every day for spoons and for straws and for cups. We use it a lot. Unfortunately, the problem with plastics is they're made from crude oil. They're made from fossil fuels. And they become a non-renewable resource. Plastics, like as you can see, if you take the picture of this well, they're not biodegradable. They don't break apart. So it's harmful. They're dangerous. Laura, why do you think plastics are dangerous? Pollution. Pollution, okay. But where, where is the pollution coming from, Laura? And people throw plastic into the sea. And then people, like animals, like whales, Eats the plastic and got poisoned and died. Yeah, okay. They don't get poisoned, right? Just because the plastic doesn't break apart. Look, look at all the things in the whale's mouth, right? The whale can't digest it. It can't break the, the plastic apart. What happens is the plastic sits in the whale's tummy and it doesn't break apart and it kills the whale, right? It means the whale can't eat, can't eat anything else because the plastic is still stuck there. So let me look at the idea of alternatives. What does alternative mean? Alternative means something we can substitute, something that we can use in place, something that is in place of that as well, okay? So when I say plastic alternatives, I'm talking about things that we can use that aren't plastic, we still do the same things that we do. And there's lots of examples, right? So scientists and engineers, they're always looking, they're always trying, they, they understand that Plastics are not safe, okay? Plastics are not good. We have a problem now called microplastics. Microplastics get into water and they're in the water that we drink. People have been found with small bits of plastic inside their tummies because it's getting into our water. And that's dangerous, that's not good, it's not safe for us. So scientists are always looking for new ways in order to try uh, remove plastic and stop people from using plastic so much. So I have a video. We won't watch all of it, but I'm going to give you some ideas about a uh, way in which we are trying to find new types of uh, resources to use instead of plastic. Top 5 Alternatives to Plastic Packaging 1 ton of plastics equals 3 die each year because of plastic waste, UNESCO. 25% of consumers are extremely concerned about plastic packaging. 42% of consumers think manufacturers should prioritize recyclable packaging. 21% of consumers think the industry should set up a system for packaging that is completely free of plastic. Here are our top 5 alternatives to plastic packaging. 1. Bioplastics. Bioplastics are made from corn. Corn is an amazing plant, not only because of its variety of uses, popcorn, sweet corn, but also thanks to its production of biodegradable plastics. Manufactured from corn production waste, this bioplastic is durable. It can be used to make bottles, bioplastic films and other food containers. So, corn. One of the, one of the things that comes off corn and corn waste is an oil. From that oil, when they harden the oil and they make it it's tough and hard and they heat it up, it makes a plastic. When that plastic is unused, because it's corn, it's made from food, it breaks apart. It doesn't just float away, it actually disintegrates and turns into something else. So again, we can make plastic from corn. Next one's super interesting as well. 
2. Shrimp shells to make biodegradable plastic bags. So shrimp shells. Right. Who likes shrimp? Who likes to eat shrimp? What do you have to do with shrimp? You have to take the shell off, right? When you take the shell off, what scientists are now using is, well, hold on, they break the shell apart, and they start making plastic bags with the shells. Sound fun? Sounds interesting? I like the idea. Chittison is produced from exoskeletons of crustaceans, shrimps, crabs. The objective here is to remove a thin film of plastic that can be used in the design of food packaging and the manufacture of biodegradable plastic bags. It hasn't been commercialized yet but it should be live soon. It has the potential to replace plastic in food and beverage packaging. 3. Sugarcane Who likes... Yeah, you know the sugary drink you drink? You know how they make that? They put the sugar cane in and they roll it. And People make sugar with it. Yeah, exactly, right? So what they're doing is, when you roll the sugar cane and you take all of the sugar and the water out of the sugar cane, you're left with the, the rest of it, right? So what they're doing is they're taking that and then they're making plastics and they're making biodegradable packaging out of it. There's a lot left more. Over the leftovers right top so, five alternatives to plastic pack using the leftovers okay so we often chew them and then just spit out the leftover exactly so again it's going green right one it's saving waste and two we're reusing the leftovers in order to make something which we can use we can make you know, plastic products another one is seaweed right seaweed is being used to make bioplastic products which is again it's eco-friendly it is it's beneficial and it's helpful for the environment because it's being made out of seaweed. Anyone think of anything that you, you think you can make bioplastics out of? What could you use instead of plastic? Any ideas? I use the same. Like they use corn to make plastic, right? Mm -hmm. Then they can make plastic cups and straws. What do you think? I, I use uh, paper. Paper? Okay. Paper cups, yeah. Paper cups are good. Anyone else have any ideas? What could you use in order to uh, uh, in use instead of plastics? Kent, what do you think we could use? I think we can use the shell of mm, the snail. Snail like shell, interesting. Or the, or the glass. Or glass, okay, yeah. Cool. There's lots of things, right? You could do lots and lots and lots of different things. What I want you to do for your homework, okay? your homework for your homework, want you to choose one plastic alternative, like we saw in that video, right? Choose one, try to research it. How is it being used to replace plastic? So choose any one you like. Um, I'll make sure Miss Twee gets this presentation to you with that video in it. You can do some research there. Or even if you just go to Google and say plastic alternative, you'll get lots and lots and lots of answers, okay? That's what I want you to do for your homework. I want you to do some research about plastic alternatives and see how they're being used to replace plastic. Anyone have any questions about that before we play a game? No. Cool. Right. How many students do we have? Three. What is this kind of game? It's seven, 11, uh, two, ten, ten students. Three. Its name ten, is weird. Yes. Ten students. So we'll do. Uh, we'll do three teams. Okay. How? Two teams. Two, teams. <laughs> two teams, right, okay, two teams. Hey, Laura, pick a number, please. Eight. Eight. <laughs> what are the tall towers that spin when the wind blows? What are the uh, no answer, thank you, uh, sorry. Wind turbine. Oops. <laughs> Me. Me? Yes, P, yes. Three. First flow with strong... Uh, strong flow or the current space used can be used to generate what kind of energy? Hydroelectric, biomass, or geothermal? 10 seconds. 10, 9, mm. 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer is? Hydro. Go. Uh, monkey. Oh, your name is Zero. It's so confusing for me. Yes, monkey, choose a question. Choose a number. Um, uh... Which of these is not a, currently a source of energy? The sun, the moon, running water. The moon. Excellent, easy, simple. 
number uh, number five. Five. Hydroelectric energy makes power from moving what? Moving wind. Wind. No. Water. <gasps> Bill. Minerva. Number ten. Your team loses twenty-five points. Nice. <laughs> uh, nice guy. Number one. Number one. Me. Which of these is an example of biomass energy? A gas in the burning car, a coal burning power plant, or a wood burning stove? B. Yes. Good. Hey, okay. Mr. Kent. Number um, four. Four. 20 points. Nice. Ken is lucky. <laughs> James. Uh, number six. Six. What type of energy uses photovoltaic cells? A mass, solar, or geothermal? Think of the name. So, Photo solar. Solar. Good job. Well done. Nine. Nine. Solar energy gets its power from the sun. Easy. Um, question fourteen. What do we mean when we call some energy sources renewable? What does that mean? Mm, that means that these resources could use a gas again. Yes, they and they are good for the nature and environment. Cool. Comes back, nature yes. always replaces him. Well done. Okay, Laura. Uh, two. Two. What type of energy is this statement describing? Water is released from a reservoir dam behind a dam. It spins a turbine in a generator. What type of electricity is this? Hydroelectric? Yes, good job. Well done. Excellent. E. Um, number seven. Seven. Our team loses 25 points. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Monkey. Uh, uh, 15. 15. I want to use the unlucky number. <laughs> a generator converts motion into what? Electricity. Yes. Burning natural items like wood or animal droppings is an example of what type of energy? Uh, not renewable energy. Uh, hell no. Biomass. <laughs> oh dear. Minerva. 16. 16. One idea for fast growing biofuel is found in the ocean. Oh well, I'll give you the I'll give you that. Hard question. Okay, and Sky. Last question for you. Win 50 points! <laughs> no way! Right. Me, Bill, Sky, and James and Emily, you win. Stop. That's your homework, okay? Remember that. We are speechless. Right, all of you, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? It was good fun. Bye, Bye. team. Bye.